How is Tess gonna get to Jared, huh? How do you think? Oh, that's great. So you're gonna what? You're gonna what? You're gonna sleep with Jared Banks? I am not going to sleep with anybody. But come on, I, I wanted to think that he has a shot if you placed ball. We got rid of Tess. We do not need her mucking up our lives. What are you doing? I know, I know. Hubby won't be happy, but I was driving away, and there it is. I realized I forgot my business plan, which was probably a Freudian thing, because I really wanted to talk to you alone about this. Why? Because I'm tired of you and the husband treating me like I'm the villain. I came to Landview because of you, remember? Oh, I'm sorry. It was Tess. Jared, I have run out of ways to apologize for that. Then why don't you try considering my plan? Because this is a good one. You know, and I, I'm really ticked off that you and, and, and Wine Boy won't even listen to me because I'm the one that came up with the idea. Okay, fine. It doesn't matter what I say. You're going to do everything in your power to convince your family to vote against me when this comes up, right? Hi. Do you really think that it would be to my advantage to go against my husband? Okay, now she's going to accept this. But if he doesn't change things around here by spring, this little niche vineyard of his is going to be in the red. And I'm not talking wine, I'm talking debt. This can save that. It's a good deal, Jessica. Well, Nash won't see it that way. The board will, eventually. I'll get them to see it that way. Jessica, I promise you, in the long run, you're not going to be able to stop the board from buying this place. What makes you think I want to stop them? I was just about to call you. Hi, Charlie. I've been thinking about you, too. Oh, Lord, I wish you were here. What? Is everything okay? No, it's not. Everything is one great, big, awful mess. Blair, I don't have time to get into it right now. I called to tell you I found Sam. No, I don't have him yet. Yeah, I'll call you later. You don't have a clue where he is. You have no idea where she went. You just want to keep me for fun. Better wish to go. From now, would be a good time to tell me. She's going back to the diner where she worked as a waitress. Huh. Hey, John. How stupid do you think I am? It's, it's, it's all about my brother. He's gotten himself into a mess and now all of a sudden I'm, I'm right in the middle of it and I, I just want to hear your voice before I do what I know I have to do. Look, if you, if you need someone, I mean, just to listen to you, I'm here. It sounds serious. It is. Oh, Charlie, I'm about to destroy somebody's life. <sighs> I couldn't do it, you know. I couldn't leave without you. I love you too much. I love you too. I love you both so much. We're in big trouble. We have to. Folks, listen to me. Listen to me. I know what we have to do, okay? You and Tommy and I, we're going to leave together and we are going to make it across that border. We are. And then the three of us, we're going to be a family again, okay? It's not that easy. No, we'll make it work. 
And it could work because we love each other, and that is all a family needs when they're together. Okay, so come on, come with me. Honey, you gotta hurry. I still love you. I still love you. Please come. We're almost there, honey, okay? No one's telling us. So we're gonna do fine. We're gonna go in, we're gonna get the passports, and then we're gonna go where no one will ever find us. Why don't I just pull over and let you out, John? It's a much for a deal. I believe the deal was that you tell me where Marcy is. That diner's the last place you go. Well, that's where we'll find her. Is she going to stock up on bear claws and danishes before she hits the board? She left something behind, something she's going to need. What's that? This.